As Frisco grows, so do our traditions. And as our numbers climb, so has the scale of the annual community parade. We unpacked the memories of what was once known as the Frisco High School Homecoming Parade. Then and now, families come together, students perform, and veterans take center stage. I grew up here in Frisco, graduated from Frisco High in 1981. So, and I've been teaching in the district, this is my 31st year. Back when I was in high school, each grade would be responsible for their own float. We'd go to somebody's barn or something and stuff tissue paper and the little chicken wire and all that kind of stuff. And it was just a, a small but fun community activity. They'd have the parade, giving up, you know, passing out candy. Uh, we had the Shriners and uh, it was a big, big parade that everybody from this whole town came to see. In the afternoon, they'd have a big barbecue for all those alumni. Then we started growing, and um, it became not just FHS and Staley and Acker uh, thing. It became Rogers, and then football teams, and then T-ball teams, and then every single organization you could think of had their own floats, and then we started adding more high schools. The Frisco High School Homecoming Parade outgrew its name and became the Frisco Community Parade. I have a tough time comparing what it is nowadays uh, as opposed to what it was back in the day. It was more of the small town personal feel, what it was back then. Nowadays with just, you know, just the teams and the marching, uh, it's a little bit different, has a little bit different atmosphere to it. Population growth has changed the parade and the town itself. My husband and I moved here uh, with our son in 1980, and we literally could look out and see downtown from our house. Um, and so now, of course, you, you can't even see past your own backyard. It seems the evolution of the Frisco High School homecoming parade mirrors that of the city. Core values remain, however, progress marches on. I'm Michael Severance for Frisco ISD TV.